In June 2010, I posted an article about these dumb flies that I occasionally find sitting on the wall in my bathroom, and I recently figured out where they are coming from and why they seem so stupid. The drain in my house recently clogged, and when I flushed the toilet, some filthy water went into the bathtub. After clearing the drain, the bathtub was full of black specks, and I noticed a few of them were wiggling. I carefully put some into a plastic container and rinsed them off. There were two different types. Most were worms, about 5 to 10 millimeters long, except that they had dark orange hairs everywhere except their head. These worms dried out quickly, which caused them to shrivel up and eventually die. At the tail are five clumps of hairs that radiate outward like a propeller or like flower petals. This worm is almost completely dead. The head doesn't have any well-defined eyes or any other features other than some strange type of mouth that looks like it has hairs coming out of it, I suppose to scrape up algae. Since this worm is almost dead and shriveling up, the rows of hairs are closer together than they would be otherwise. Here is a close-up of its head and mouth. There's a piece of debris clinging to its head. That is not an eye or an antenna. Its head is so black and shiny that it's difficult to see any features. A close-up of its tail shows five clumps of hairs. Many of the hairs are sticking together, but when the worm is alive and in water, they spread out like flower petals. Now the worm is dead and even more shriveled up. It is laying on its back, so you are looking at its belly. Although there are some long hairs on the belly, it has lots of rows of short hairs that it uses for propulsion. I put a tiny drop of water on this one. It doesn't look as black when wet, and the hairs become almost invisible. As it crawls, the hairs at the tail move around. I can't even guess at what those tail hairs are doing. These creatures don't have any legs, but they use their mouth as a leg. This is a side view. A small drop of water is clinging to it. It almost looks like there is some type of eye on the side of its head. Since it lives in the drains, maybe all those eyes do is sense light. As it crawls, its mouth opens up as if it's trying to eat or taste. Here it is in slow motion. Here are two of them, one right side up and the other upside down. As I mentioned earlier, I found two different types of creatures. The other was about half the length, and it looked like a cocoon, except that it could crawl. It resembles the cocoons in my other video that the moths hatched out of. For example, it looks like there are legs forming in its belly. Both of these creatures have V-shaped lines. The moth cocoons would change from light brown to almost black as they matured, and these also varied in shade from light brown to almost black. I cannot figure out what those two protrusions are on its head. I decided to keep them alive as long as possible to see if they would hatch into something, so I put a few drops of water on them. I've never seen a cocoon that moves so quickly and easily, and in water. They are like tadpoles. On the bottom of its tail are rows of tiny hairs to allow it to move. Here is one that is upside down. Every once in a while, a row of hairs comes into focus. The worms didn't like living in a plastic container with clean water. They were constantly trying to escape, and I didn't feel like providing them with sewage to eat. 
they died after a day or so. But I assume that they would have eventually turned into those cocoon-like creatures. I collected five of the cocoon creatures. Six days later, the cocoons began to hatch. The flies that came out sat motionless for a while, apparently waiting for its wings to harden. This explains the mystery of why I sometimes find these stupid flies in the bathroom. I had assumed that they were going into the bathroom to drink water, but apparently they're hatching in the drains, and then they sit motionless for a while, thereby appearing to be stupid, and then they fly away. This fly is sitting on its empty cocoon. Here is an empty cocoon sitting on my fingertip. All of the flies were healthy except for this one. Perhaps I damaged it when I removed it from the bathtub. Its stomach area was wet and surface tension is holding it to this thick needle. It was dead the next day. The other four managed to escape into my house. Instead of having scales, like a moth, these flies are covered in hairs. The wings have several different colored hairs. I suppose what looks like white hairs are actually clear hairs. Each wing has a little tuft of light brown hairs. The fly is covered in so much hair that it looks soft and furry. They have interesting antenna, and the antenna also have the appearance of being soft and furry. For a creature that grows up in a sewer, it certainly is attractive. Their legs are also covered in hair. Their head is covered in long hairs that look like they have dark bands and white tips. There is an amazing amount of life all around you if you take the time to look for it.